Welcome again to Ancient Tales for Today, Gu Jing Jin Tan. And we have come to another story. It's almost like a Lian Xu Ju. It's a one story after another. Uh, and they are all related. This will be lesson number 27. And you remember the story about two brothers and how they became enemies? Well, finally now, Jacob is going back home. He fights with a, a man, and then he meets his brother. Number 27, the brothers make peace. Twenty-seven, the brothers make peace. According to the ancient tales, Jacob had persuaded Esau to give up his rights as the elder son. Then he had deceived his father and stolen the blessing due to Esau, the elder son. So Esau had enough to be angry about. Now Jacob is going home to face Esau. He sends flocks of sheep and goats ahead as gifts to his brother, as well as camels, cattle, and donkeys. He tells each servant who is in charge of the flocks to say that they are a gift from Jacob to Esau. But Jacob is really worried because Esau is accompanied by 400 men. When it comes time to meet Esau, Jacob goes ahead of all of his family and bows before his brother seven times. He is probably expecting to be killed, but Esau runs to meet him and hugs him. Both brothers start crying. Esau asks Jacob who all the people are. Jacob explains it's his family. And then Esau asks what all the gifts were for. Jacob admits he gave the gifts to try and win Esau's favor. Esau tells Jacob to keep the gifts as he has enough already. After all those years, after all those hard times, the brothers are together again. They make peace. Esau no longer wants to kill his brother. Jacob no longer wants to trick his brother. What a great story for us today. There are so many family quarrels that can lead to anger and hatred. People don't talk to other members of the family for years and maybe never again. Once the relationships have been broken, they can be very hard to mend. But it is so important to try. Like Jacob, maybe it can begin with some kindness some gifts. This is at least some way of trying to say you are sorry for what has happened and that you want to be friends again. You should certainly try. According to the ancient tales, Jacob had persuaded Esau to give up his rights as the elder's son. Okay, remember, this is several stories back. Jacob, Shofu. Okay, uh, his older brother, to give up. That means, Fang Qi. Okay, his, Zhang Zi de Quan Li. Okay, his rights, rights, Quan Li, as the elder son. Then he deceived his father, Tajo Pienlatada Baba. Why would he do that? And stolen the blessing due to Esau. So we're talking about quite a few stories. Uh, he told so, okay, 
the blessing that should have gone to uh, Esau, the uh, 祝福 Okay, see, the father was going to bless the older son, and uh, he was blind. And so the younger son said, Oh, daddy, I have come home. Okay, and so he stole his brother's blessing. Okay, now, so Esau was quite angry. He had enough. Right? He had a good reason uh, to be angry with his younger brother. Now, Jacob is going home to face Esau. So here you have Jacob. He's done all of these bad things. Uh, and he and his family, okay, are going home to, we say in English, to face the music. To face the music means 面对这个事情, okay? To face Esau. Now, he sends flocks of sheep and goats ahead as gifts for his brother. 他就把一些绵羊还有山羊群群的 flocks 群群的这个绵羊山羊 OK send them forth to send them to Esau why why all this well and not just that uh, as well as 还有 whoa Camels, cattle, and donkeys. Now, remember, today you may not be so excited uh, if somebody gives you uh, flocks of sheep and uh, uh, goats and camels and cattle and donkeys. But in those days, that was impressive. Tiga,不简单啊. 他就把这么多东西送给他的哥哥啊。I wonder why he did it. Of course you know why. That, to try to make his brother happy. Let's go on. Okay. He tells each servant uh, who is in charge of the flocks to say that they are a gift from Jacob to Esau. So he instructed the servants and tell them that when you see my brother or you see somebody you tell them ah these are gifts from Jacob to Esau okay each servant who is in charge of the flocks Cattles, donkeys, uh, many, many, many uh, different kinds of animals. But Jacob is really worried about because Esau is accompanied by 400 men. That Esau is coming. Okay, he's coming with what? He's coming zai ta hu wei zhi xia. Yo si bai ge ren. And they're all on horses and they are huh. It sounds like they are not happy people. It sounds like that. And of course, how would you feel? I mean, your brother already promised to kill you. He plans on killing you. So how would you feel? Your brother now is coming with 400 armed men. These people are ready to fight. When it comes time to meet Esau, uh, when they meet, when Jacob and Esau meet together, uh, Jacob goes ahead of all of his family. 
So he moves ahead of the family. Jacob moves ahead of the family, and bows. Okay. Now remember, he has a hurt leg. His hip is in not too good a shape. And uh, so he's and he's holding on to this. And then he bows down to his brother. Uh, before his brother. How many times? Seven times. Whoa. Seven times he bows down to his brother. Going on. He is probably expecting to be killed. Yes, uh, he is expecting. But Esau runs to meet him. He gets off of his horse, okay, and he runs, yung pao and hugs him to hug yong pao, yong pao, okay, him. Both brothers start crying. Now, Esau asks Jacob, who are these people that are with you? Who are these people? Jacob explains, oh, these are my family. It's his family. Then Esau asks what all the gifts are for. He said, oh, all these gifts, all these animals, what are they for? Well, there's somebody. And Jacob admits, Tajo Chengren, that he gave the gifts to Taho, to Esau's favor, to win Esau's favor. Now, we're going to take a little break, but we will be back in just a few minutes. Now we have some more light on our path. This time we're going back to Proverbs 16, verse 7. 16, verse 7. Here it very simply says, When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Now you remember the story here, mm. the, the for many, many years, Gaga and Didi, brothers, they were enemies. 对, 对, they were enemies. Mm. Now you remember, they have now changed. First, I would say, mm. I would say that Jacob becomes, has a good relationship with God. Mm, 对, 对, okay, and now, this promise, this is a promise. Mm. It says that when we have a good relationship with God, He will help us to have a good relationship with us. 是的,我就想到他们两兄弟啊,这么多年来都是分开的,那么他们需要和好的时候真的需要一个桥梁,需要一个 okay. peacemaker. Yeah, a peacemaker. That's a good word. Mm. Peacemaker. Even Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Yes, that's right. Mm. Exactly. And we should all become peacemakers, shouldn't we? Okay, let's go back and uh, look at uh, the last sentence just to get the picture. Esau asks Jacob who all the people are. Jacob explains, it's his family. Then Esau asks what all the gifts were for. Jacob admits that he gave the gifts to try to 
win Esau's favor. Okay, Taohao Tadashin. Now, Jacob tells, or Esau tells Jacob that he can keep all the gifts because he already has enough. That's pretty impressive, huh? So God has blessed the older brother. Even though God blessed the younger brother, but the older brother was blessed also. Okay. And uh, after all of those years, and after all of those hard times, after all of those years, well, it's 20 years. It's 20 years. Okay? Uh, and all of those hard times, the brothers are together again. The brothers are together again. They make peace. Taman Liang Wei Jo He Hao. Esau no longer wants to kill his brother. Butai Xiang Sa Ta the Didi. No longer wants to kill his brother. Jacob no longer wants to trick his brother. Jacob Bushyang Zai Pian Tadagaga. So they've learned some lessons. Twenty years they have been apart. And they have learned some very important leather uh, lessons. And actually it's a great story for us today. And why would this be a great story for us today? I mean, this is a story from thousands of years ago. It's a real story. It's a real story. You need to look into the Gu Jing and see all the details. There are much more details. I make these stories very simple so that uh, it's not too complicated. Now, it is a great story for us today because we say Gu Jing Jin Tan for today. There are so many family quarrels. Jiu Fen. Family Jia Ting Jiu Fen. In fact, the, the sad thing is in the newspaper we see stories about this all the time. That's one reason why I don't especially like to want, look at the newspaper because to me it's just a waste of time. Who did that and why they did that and who hates who? I, uh, I'm not interested in that. Okay? There are so many family quarrels that can uh, lead to what? Anger, and hatred, okay. People don't talk to other members of the family for years, and maybe never again. People don't talk to other members of the family. Other members of the family, their brothers, their sisters, their parents, their uncles, uh, they just don't talk to them. Uh, for years, um, very sad. And maybe never again. Okay? Never again. Going on. Once the relationships are broken, 
破解了，已经破碎了。It is very hard to mend. You know what the word mend means? 修补，修补。So when relationships break down, it is very hard to mend the relationships. But it is so important to try. We should 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 try. To the people who are estranged, that means the people that are no longer in a good relationship with us. Some gifts. Now, I don't know whether that works in your culture, but somehow you need to pull,、uh, uh, being break the ice to start the relationship again. At This is at least some way of trying to say we're sorry for what has happened. Okay, when when you say I'm sorry, what do you say? You are saying that you are 难过 What you have said, what you have done, you do not feel comfortable. And by giving a gift, you are saying 表示 Ah.、Uh, 你的歉意 okay? That you are sorry for what has happened, and that you want to be friends again. 也表示 that you want to 再做朋友虽然是亲戚 even though they are relatives, relatives need to be. How do you say, 友善 friendly with each other. And we end our lesson, this lesson, actually several lessons now, all talking about Jacob. And we end this lesson by simply saying, "You should certainly try." So if the relationships in your family. Are not doing so good. Try to 修补 mend the relationship. Certainly, you should try. We'll be back in a few minutes. Ai 老师又来到了学生字的时间了，在这里，请您呃告诉我们这个 in charge in charge 的意思。Okay, in charge of simply means to 负责、oh. to be responsible for.、Mm. So if I'm in charge, I am responsible. 负责人负责人 Okay, okay good. The next one is an interesting one. He is probably expecting to be killed. Ah,、uh, okay. So、mm. Jacob thinks his brother is going to kill him. How would you, how would you say、uh, expecting? 在这里呢，不能够把它解释成期待了，对不对？本来它的意思是期待。Yeah, 期待 is too positive.、嗯、这个是没有人期待人家杀自己，<笑>对不对 yeah, 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 yeah. 那这个时候应该可以说是他预料，他可能预料他的哥哥要来杀他的，是吧 ？Right, exactly.、嗯、That's exactly. Now notice they have the same word in English.、嗯 Opposite meanings. Oh, ah, this 刚好是相反的 Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Going on. Hard times. Ah, <laughs>、uh, 艰难的日子 Okay. Have we seen some hard times? Maybe most of us have not seen hard times. I I haven't seen. Have you had really hard times? 我也有，在我小时候的时候也有过 Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, then,、uh, then you have the experience. Hard times. <laughs> Okay, then the next one that we have here is to mend. 嗯，这个是修补，对吧 ？Okay, now 修补 in this case 
修补 to mend or to prepare.、Mm. Uh, what does that? What questions do you have about that? Ah,、uh, 我开始的时候想问您一个问题，就是呃、uh, ，repair 是啊、uh, 修理啊，呃、uh, ，mend 是修补，对吧 ？Right. 那他们之间有什么分别呢 ？Well, actually, Lena,、uh, in English, we don't make a big、mm. uh, difference.、Mm. You can say repair. Or to mend, it means the same.、Mm. But in Chinese, there's a difference. 对，在中文里边呢，啊，机器了，物件的话，我们一定要用修理。但是人与人之间的关系，一定要用修补。Good. Okay, we're ready to say goodbye, but not before saying that we saw two brothers making peace. 呃，两个兄弟和好 ，and it's a good lesson for all of us to learn that we and our brothers and sisters should maintain 保持 a very good relationship, and if the relationship is not so good, then then. We need to mend the relationships. At least we need to try. Now, we're going on, and we're going to talk about dreams again. More about dreams. Remembering the dream. See you next time for another interesting story from this book. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like ancient tales for today, please visit atft.chinesehope.tv. You may also contact us by writing to ancienttalesfortoday at gmail.com. Again, that's ancienttalesfortoday at gmail.com. Tell your friends about ancient tales for today. See you next time.